Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have movements with the Wind Fairy here. Thoughts, words, and intellectual analysis. I see someone is definitely uh, overwhelmed in their emotions, missing you here, but someone's fantasizing, okay? Very emotional time. Uh, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, I want to feel that way again. Yeah, someone's really uh, missing uh, this connection for how it used to be as well. Overall energy we have, yeah, Knight of Cups. Uh, this is about uh, really diving deep in our emotions, knowing what we want to do as well, and finally addressing uh, the seriousness of uh, a connection of love. So let's see what's going on in your energy this month. We have the Moon, Two of Cups, and the King of Wands. Okay, so I see here this month, uh, things start taking uh, a drastic turn, but it is in a positive direction here. What I see happening is that things that have been very uncertain or you feel like have been off are finally uh, coming to light and you're st starting to understand some issues, especially regarding a certain relationship here or a connection. And I do see in the King of Wands, if you have been concerned about work or a business partnership, getting things that you've been striving to achieve, this month is the month of clarity okay and understanding as well so when it comes to them we have the four of swords king of swords knight of pentacles and the five of pentacles so they are missing you here in the five of pentacles um four of swords they haven't really come towards you here some of you may have been in separation for a while or you just haven't heard from them as much as you used to uh, I do see that they're thinking things through very clearly. They see the light of day now, but also the fact that they're getting very clear on what they want and their emotions here, knowing that if they miss you this desperately and they feel like uh, they're constantly longing for you and fantasizing here, then they want to make things happen. They want to bring this situation that they're fantasizing about into the 3D realm here in the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, it's not to the Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Three of Swords. They've been frustrated here, uh, feeling like they've lost so much. Uh, the potential for something that could have been uh, long term as well, almost as if the consequences of their actions or lack thereof has led them to this point. So they're really frustrated with themselves as well. So let's see what's going on in the past. Let's get some more information. We have Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Hermit, Six of Cups, and the Magician. Okay. So I see that they ran away from their feelings here due to feeling trapped. Uh, not knowing how to give love or to receive it. There is a sense here that they feel like they've just not been able to figure out who they are in an emotional sense okay so I see it's kind of taboo here where they feel like you know I I know that I care about people I know that I want to show that but I'm not sure really how to give it I kind of panic when I do and I run and hide and I don't feel like you know I'm that great at it so there's kind of an insecurity here on you know giving love and receiving it as well not knowing what the right thing to do is and they kind of spook themselves and stop them from taking risks or wanting to go after what they truly feel and I see how they really portrayed this to you was the magician here. They knew full well in the Six of Cups Hermit that you are somebody so unique to them, that you understand them, they feel comfortable with you. It's like they've known you forever and they always feel good when they think about you and you make them feel like, okay, life is worth living. But with the magician, they put on this performance as if uh, they're calm, they're cool. It's kind of like, uh, you know, oh, I'm not bothered by anything, but kind of ignore it. Ignore the fact that they've been gone or that they're being uh, suspicious a little bit here. But for the challenge, we have 
judgments, justice, star card, ace of wands, and chariots. Yeah, they're hyper-focused on doing the wrong thing or it's kind of like a fear of failure here that they're not really going to uh, succeed in what they truly want or make you happy in a sense. But I see uh, with the chariots, the focus should have been on opening up, uh, really communicating to you what they feel about themselves so that you can have some full understanding of why they retreat a lot. And with the star justice, ace of wands, they made themselves unavailable. The fact that you, they, you couldn't reach out to them, your hands were tied because they kind of put a wall up and they wouldn't let you in, always ran away as well. And it felt just very off, very cold at times, especially in the hermits. Some of them, you know, would be gone for long periods of time. And then when they do come back, uh, they act as if nothing happened, nothing went on, and they don't explain things. And it kind of leaves you in limbo uh, because you've tested the waters in the beginning. I've really tried to open up, but when you do, you get shut down. It's like they run away more, so you kind of know what to do and how to deal with them. But when you do that, it's you feel like you know you're suppressing your own feelings and needs and uh, trying to conform to them so that they don't just run away from you again uh, but I see with the judgment card here they've made some poor choices when it's come to the situation some of them feel that they don't have a choice that they're stuck in a situation here eight of swords ace of cups that they don't want to be in and uh, there's not this emotional attachment or feelings of love with it. So it can be a third party, but they feel like they have to do their duties here. Some of the judgments, please. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, towards the end here, you know, you really started to protect yourself and you didn't want to get hurt. And the more you did that, the more that they craved you and they came towards you in a harsher way. This confused you and made you feel like, okay, I'm not asking for anything here. You're not even giving me breadcrumbs and I'm not even, you know, throwing a fit. I'm not saying anything about it. What is your deal here? But I see that they could feel your energy. They could feel that you were detaching as well because you had to do what was best for you. And this started to make them panic and how they approached you. Uh, a lot of you, they were very callous uh, towards what they were saying, the words that they were using, trying to hurt your feelings because they were hurting here. But it was something that you had to do. You had to protect yourself. So let's see what they're about to do here because I see in the current moment, they're finally seeing things very level-headed. Instead of coming towards you constantly in the Knight of Swords, they're coming towards you in the King of Swords and wanting to have a conversation as you are in the Queen of Swords, uh, but having a very honest and uh, fair conversation. Three of Pentacles, Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles here. So things are taking a drastic turn. We have an offer of a lifetime coming towards you uh, that you are least expecting to be given in this way. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.